welcome to your weekly health and fitness report. I'm Jeremy Biernat, the tall trainer. This week I've got kind of an educational, semi-humorous one we're going to talk about, and that's the bicep curl. Everybody's kind of seen a bicep curl happen. We're going to use dumbbells for it today. Um, the reason why I wanted to go through this is because it's one of the most often done incorrectly. It's the exercise that I've seen done wrong most often. And so uh, I could basically walk into any health club at any time and probably find somebody doing this one incorrectly. Uh, basically, incorrectly is where they've got way too much weight on their hands and the shoulders are throwing back, they're really arching their back as they go through the motion. They come up a little, way too high so that the, the elbow starts to shift forward and they get that little bit of a rest break on top and they, a lot of times they don't even go down all the way. And so there's a lot of, there's a lot of extra movement in the rest of the body and so that's really you know, hurting the lower back, it can hurt the neck, uh, can hurt the shoulder. And really, you shouldn't be messing around with too much of that weight until you can really hold good solid posture anyway. And so, the better way of doing a bicep curl is going to be to squeeze your shoulders back and down, keep that stomach in tight, lock your body into place, then grab the weights and go through that motion. When you come up, it's going to feel like you're only going three quarters of the way up. Because at the top, when you close that elbow joint as far as it can, the weight doesn't really go up higher than the shoulder. So, stay right in there. If it's going up higher, you know you're shifting your elbows forward. So lock the posture in and move nice and smooth through that. Now the only uh, exception to this may be some uh, very experienced lifters and maybe on the last couple repetitions they might break form just a little bit just to get a couple extra in. But uh, other than that, for the most part, uh, you should be lifting nice and smooth and, and cleanly and you'll really notice if you hold really good solid posture when the last one happens. It'll be very clear. It'll be and you won't be able to lift it again. So if you have any other questions about that one, visit talltrainer.com. If not, this has been your weekly health and fitness report with, tall, with the tall trainer, Jeremy Burnett.